Olá, meus amigos. Hello, my friends. Sejam a própria bênção. Be the blessing. Sejam a própria fonte. Be the fountain. Sejam a própria bênção. Be the blessing. Você vá. Wherever you go. E como é que é possível? And how is it possible? A própria bênção. For us to be the blessing. Vamos avaliar. Let us evaluate, weigh o que aconteceu no início de tudo. What happened in the beginning of everything. Diz o texto sagrado. In the beginning Deus says the sacred scripture. God created the heavens and the earth. Depois diz assim. Later it says. Disse Deus, then God said. Haja luz. Let there be light. E a luz veio à existência. And there was light. Quer dizer, Meaning, com a palavra, with the word, a God brought a into existence not just light, but everything that exists in nature, all nature, all of his greatness was created with his word. Only man which he created with his hands. Look, this is the subject we will be speaking about this Thursday here in the Therapy of Love, 8 p.m. with Bishop Edilson. Everything started with the Word. Everything starts with the Word. It continues starting with the Word. For example, your family started with the Word. Your father, your mother started with the word. They gave their word one to the other on the altar and later you were formed and all your siblings. Meaning that marriage starts with the word as well. Is it not great? Very nice. Marriage starts with word. Business starts with the word. When you go out and do business, you start with the word. When you go out to buy, you use the word. Give me this, give me that. That's how it is. Everything starts with the word. Dating starts with the word. Life starts with the word. God gave his word and honored it. Jesus is his given word and honored by God. God the Father. And if we observe very well and carefully the words which we pronounce or say and we honor it, we will constitute that life will start a new life when we give and honor our word. It's clear that in the world, this hostile world, this evil world, in the world where moral values are put aside, they're no more customary. It's difficult for you to honor that word. You give your word and you will have that right. But they have not been honoring this word. And because of this, people suffer. You know that the Bible teaches that death and life are in the power of the tongue. The blessing of the curse. Life or death. So when we speak, we bring forth life or death, blessing or curses. Everything depends on the word. Everything started with the word and everything continues or has a beginning with the word. You, my friend, who gave your word on the altar, Perhaps you have not even noticed this. 
Not even I have noticed this when I got married. But on the altar, all of us want to marry on the altar. Is it not so? Why? What is the reason? Why do people want to climb the altar and give the word? Because in any form, the altar has a special attraction to form an event for all life. The altar is like a registry. In the registry, you sign before someone and it is registered that you signed it. The commitment you signed on the altar, you register your given word with the person you are marrying. And if you dishonor this word, then you cannot forget that the altar, the testimony is God. God himself in the person of the Holy Spirit is watching. The registrar is not seeing if you're fulfilling your part. He knows it is written, it's signed, but God sees everything you promised, the words which you gave on the altar. And if you don't honor them, then you will reap the fruits of dishonor. So many marriages are failed or weakened because they don't value the word which was given on the altar. They don't value, they don't pay attention to the fact that God is a faithful testament on the altar where the word was given, each one of them. So perhaps you say, oh, he didn't fulfill his word. How can I fulfill mine, my friend? We have nothing with the others. You married, you gave your word, and your word is super important. Your word is what will bring life or death. You gave your word, so you should honor it. On the contrary, you will collect the bad fruits, the evil fruits of evil. You will reap it. If the husband or the wife did not honor their word, this is their problem. They will reap the fruit of dishonesty. But you, as a person of God, a person who says they are of God, who says they believe in God and the Lord Jesus, then you have the obligation of honoring your word. God, my friend, to God, my friend, a word is very important. It's the most important. So much so that Jesus is the word. He's a verb. A word given by God and honored by God. So Jesus is the word promised and honored by God. And God gives great value to the word. It's not enough for you to have faith in the word of God and not obey it. It's not enough for you to believe in God and not believe in yourself, in your word. Imagine you believe in God and walk with the word of lies. It doesn't work. It doesn't match. So, on the 23rd, we will have a wedding ceremony. The feast of the lambs with the bridegroom. So, he who is willing to marry, meaning to give your word to God because you can't play. It's not an attempt. It's not an adventure. When we give our word with God or to God without giving but just pronouncing, God is watching because he's behind that word which is spoken. But imagine you're making a pact with God, with your word, be it poor, rich, be you a person 
who is in a low social class, high, medium, doesn't matter. You have a word. And your word has value, extreme value with God. So evaluate this. How many times, how many, how many times have you wept, cried, suffered? We made mistakes. We failed because we gave our word and we failed. We didn't fulfill. Look, my friend, the Bible teaches that with the word, everything was created, everything was formed, and our lives are formed with the word. We, we will speak more of this subject this Thursday here in the Therapy of Love in the Temple of Solomon, 8 p.m., you are our guest. God bless you and open your mind, your understanding for you to understand and capture His will for your life. Be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen.